I have a word for you. And the word is, there will be at loss when you leave. Brothers and sisters, you may think that you are useless. You may think that you are no good. In fact, people may have said words that have made you feel down. Words that have made you feel that you are useless. But I have come to encourage you that you are useful. Even when you see yourself as useless, even when you see yourself as no value, you are useful. There is value in you. You are so precious to God. In fact, they need you. They need your presence. It is just because when they, sing, when they say those words, their eyes are blind. They cannot see. But deep inside their hearts, they see your value. And when you leave, if, all, if it's, it so happens that you part ways with them, with those people that are against you, they will realize that they need you. You are valuable, brothers and sisters. So let no one deceive you. God has placed in you treasure. Treasure that the money of this world will never buy. Treasure that is rare in this world. You are so unique. There is no one that is like you. There is no one that can actually be you. They can try to copy you. They can try to behave like you. They can try to speak like you. They can try to act like you, to walk like you, but they will never be you. That is the truth, brothers and sisters. You are original and all the duplicates cannot even be compared to who you are. Brothers and sisters, this word is from the book of Exodus 14, 5 to 9. Exodus chapter 14, verse 5 to 9. And it reads, Now it was told the king of Egypt that the people had fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and his servants was turned against the people, and they said, why have you done, why have we done this, that we, may, that we have let Israel go from serving us? So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Also, he took 600 choice chariots and all the chariots of Egypt with captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he pursued the children of Israel, and the children of Israel went out with boldness. So the Egyptians pursued them, all the horses, and the chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen, and his army, and he and overtook them, camping by the sea, besides P. Herod, and before Baal Zephon. Glory to God. This is an amazing message that uh, for those that have read uh, the story of Exodus uh, or the story where the children of Israel, uh, before this scripture, the children of Israel were living in bondage. For many years, they cried out to God and they sought redemption. They wanted deliverance, just like some of you. You, you could have cried out to God. To deliver you from that disease. To deliver you from that affliction. To deliver you from that problem. From that secret thing that you are growing. Or uh, that you are facing. That you are battling. And when the children of Israel were delivered. It was a man that was sent. And the man was Moses. Moses delivered them through God. God used Moses to deliver the children. Now this scripture comes in when... Uh, Pharaoh had let go the children of Israel and he realized that he had made a mistake. He had made a mistake. Now the scripture says in verse 5 that now it was told the king of Egypt that the people had fled and the heart of Pharaoh and his servants were turned against the people and they said, why have we done this that we have let Israel go from serving us. Some of them, there are some people in your lives, brothers and sisters, who have said that they will part ways with you. Who have said that they will have nothing to do with you. Some of them 
have made you sign resignation. They have signed for you resignation letters. Some of them have even evicted you from their houses. They are homeless. People who are watching me right now. People who are homeless who are, who are watching me right now. Who have been evicted. Previously you had a house. But someone evicted you. Your landlord evicted you. You were the tenant. But they evicted you. But they will regret. Those that are fired you from their companies will regret because when they see the input that you that you, you put into the company when they see the value they will regret this was the same thing that happened pharaoh had let go of the children of israel and now he's saying why have we let them go why did we make this mistake that they have gone now they had no one to be their servants no one to be their slaves. Glory to God. This is an amazing scripture. That those that have held you for so long. We regret. They will regret. They will be at loss. When you leave. Because they need you. Now. Reading the scripture. In verse 6 says. So he made ready his chariot. And took his people with him also he took 600 choice chariots wow it is amazing that pharaoh could 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 uh bring all these chariots just to pursue the children of israel some of them even in fact most of them we even never had even weapons they just, they just journeyed to go and worship god to go into a land Scripture says, and all the chariots of Egypt with captains over every one of them. This is how serious Pharaoh was. They are pursuing you because they need you. Some of them are going to try to convince you into coming back. But do not go back. Because God is ready and God has uh, set you a place. God has set you land. God has set you things. There are things in front of you. Do not go back to your old place. Do not look back to the place that you were tormented. To the place that brought you down. If God has delivered you, go out of that place. Don't go back to the place of affliction. Brothers and sisters, this is a loving message. This is the good news that we preach. That Jesus loves you so much. That if Jesus has made you free, he has made you free indeed. It does not matter who has been holding you captive. It does not matter how much influence they have. Just like Pharaoh, he had a lot of influence. In fact, he was the king over Israel. He was the Pharaoh over Israel. He had everything, almost everything at his disposal. He could even get more slaves. But there was something special about the children of God. Because when the children of God were in Egypt, Egypt was prospering. Egypt was being blessed. Your presence is a blessing to those who are around you. So do not despise yourself, brothers and sisters. Because you are of value. God did not place you into a place where you will not uh, be beneficial. You are a blessing. They may not admit it. They may not say it. But you are a blessing to the world. Well, until next time, shalom.